people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all back to the Curse of Naxxramas Hearthstone Adventure. The play quarter has come out this week, which means it's time for two extra class challenges. I bet they're going to be difficult. You thought I was going to say challenging, because that would have been the obvious joke, but then I went with difficult, and then I explained it and completely killed all the humour. Wait, why did I... Let's just, let's just start the... To start the challenges. We got Hunter and we got Mage. I'm going to go for Hunter first because I am really, really excited because, ladies and gentlemen, the excunt. The, the ex. I don't even. What word was I going to say? The excunter. I. I. I just. No words. The Hunter class challenge. All right, guys. Look, let me. Let me clue you in here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to start with free web spinners. Let me mulligan. See what I get. Might be something a little bit be The entire deck is 30 web spinners. How neat is that? Just every turn, web spinner, the brand new hunter card. Basically, when this dies, you get a random beast added to your hand. Not from your deck, it just chooses from every beast in the game and can randomly give you it. So it's really, really quite a neat little card that we've got going on here. So obviously he needs to kill them for me to get anything from it, but I am going to have the power when I do the absolute power. That's how I am. Um, that's how I power things now. More web spinners, more web spinners, all of them. And I am going to use them all to kill this so I actually get some beasts. And a die will valve from that one. This one... Oh, silverback paycheck. That's not very good. And this one is... Hunter Rhino. That's not half bad, actually. So how neat is that? Now I have a little collection of beasts to use. And now I can use the Direwolf Alpha to kill that sword with two more spinners, thereby getting me more beasts. There we go. Boom. That's going to give me a Haunted Creeper. And then boom. And that's going to give me... Oh, my Exner, that's really neat, but for now, the thing to do here is... Actually, you know what, I'm just going to play two more of them and go for Mr. Lothep over there. Now, Lothep, of course, from watching the video where I cleared the ring... Or I cleared the ring! We're still in a boxing match! Yes, yeah, self-referencing! You will know that he is quite the challenge with how much DPS he can put out at all times. Okay, so obviously we need to kill... The shade here. It makes the most sense. We got another haunted creeper from that. We'll kill that one. That's going to give us a core hound. Well, that is that is quite a core build. I don't really know what I'm what I'm saying there. Now that I now that I think about it. So uh, yeah, let's just go for face here. I've got no real need to kill that dancing sword because I mean, all it's gonna do is draw me another web spinner, which isn't something I desperately need at the moment. What I would really, really like to get though is a king crush from one of these, because then you know I'd crush my opponent. <laughs> and what's good about this is now my Exner has charge because of the Tundra Rhino, meaning I can instantly kill that, and I'll use the other two to kill that because. It makes the most sense. I want to keep this Tundra Rhino because obviously it's very good for giving the rest of my beast charge. So I'm going to attack first not to waste the damage and then we will get rid of that and get yet another web spinner. But it's good. We can... Ooh, finally he's using his mechanic and giving me a spore to play with, which is brilliant. Oh no, he killed the... Oh, I killed the charge. If he hadn't killed the charge between four web spinners and the damage buff, I would have done... A ridiculous amount of damage. I'm going to put the taunt on the field simply because I need it. And then I'm going to fill the board with low-costing stuff and save this spore for next turn. And then when I can attack with an army of minions this strong, I should be able to bring him down quite handily and complete the challenge. An incredibly fun class challenge, though. It really, really is. No spells, just constant beasts and web spinners. All right, here we go. This should be quite perfect. In fact, if I can get the spore with this, come on, come on. Ah, oh, that is upsetting. So obviously we're going to kill one of them and then boom, the power. Do I have enough damage to kill though? That's the question. I don't think I do. No, I'm going to be quite sure actually. If I'd have got it with that, no, I still wouldn't have been able to. So it's not the end of the world and boom. So if he can get two damage through to me because that's going to, oh, that's fine. 
but I just got a lot of extra base. Two hyenas and a timber wolf. Awesome. And I think that filled my hand. Oh, no, it didn't fill my hand. That's all right. Ooh, that's not good. He copied the Patriarch and killed mine. Fortunately, wait, have I won? I don't think I've won. Oh, I have won. I've won exactly. Oh, my God. That is very, very, very close. Oh, my God. Go, Tundra Rhino. Boom. Not Tundra Rhino. That's the... Stampede in Kodo. I knew that. And then for completing the Hunter Class Challenge, we obviously get the Web Spinners. Now, let's move on to the Mage, which is all secret focused, but shh, don't tell anyone, because it's secrets. I know, I know, I really, really, really hilarious. Rehearsing Sinister Lines. I like that. That's quite good. All right, Hagen, let's see if we can clean your clock, because he's, un he's unclean. Yay, Mad Scientist and Baron Rivendare. Ooh, definitely going to use that. I really want this guy for my Shaman deck. I've got a whole deck planned around him, and oh, I cannot wait for the next wing when I actually can get him. Hopefully the Shaman card is in the next wing, or I'm just going to be so upset. All right, four Death Rattles in a row in my opening hand. That is quite good. And that is quite bad. If Death Charger was actually in the game as a neutral, it would be so ridiculous. There would be two in so many decks, especially Zoo. Okay, so Mad Scientist is, of course, the obvious play here. I get a secret once he dies, and I get a body on the board. In fact, this Mad Scientist, the existence of him, is going to make the secret mage actually quite viable. Oh, no. Oh, he is really going for it. And I got... Duplicate. Not the most useful, actually, as it currently stands. Ooh, actually, if I can duplicate this mad scientist and then get even more secrets and just constant secrets and just secrets everywhere, that's going to be fantastic. So that's the new mage secret, which is what we're fighting to earn. So now we've got two mad scientists and we got a vaporize, which handily kills that void walker. See, it's such a neat interaction. Okay. Ooh, mirror entity. That's quite good, but for now, I am going to... I'm going to save Baron Rivendare for a six-mana turn, so for now, I'm going to Loot Hoarder on the left and Mad Scientist on the right, because this way, I'll get two secrets from one Mad Scientist if I play Baron Rivendare with him, and that's fantastic. I put him on the left, so obviously, I just get the draw, and then the Mad Scientist is still on the field, you know, chilling, just doing his thing. All right, well, this is absolutely perfect. I can use this opportunity to ping him and then trade, and then we'll see what secret we get. It is Spellbender. That's not actually that bad. So either play a Mirror Entity or an Undertaker, and given the mana curve, Mirror Entity is a much better decision here. And then next turn, I get to use Baron Rivendell. It's going to be awesome. Ooh, Doom Guard. Well, that's good, because it means I do get my own Doom Guard, but still, a lot of damage coming out from Mr. Agen here. Agen? Agen. Lake Lagen? I have no idea the words I'm using. Okay, oh, another mad scientist. Nice. So if we put him over there, and honestly, there's no real point in me wasting my time with that because the five damage isn't going to make a big difference with the cards in his hand, and then I'm going to start having sludge belches soon. Please press eruption. Yes! All right, guys, here we go. Get to see Baron Rivendell's interaction. Secret and secret. We got duplicate counter spell and a spellbender that's really quite good okay how else we're we gonna get past this you know what we're gonna put slud belcher on the right and actually let's put him there as well and i'm deliberately not gonna kill my opponent's creatures because i want to see the interaction some more boom between baron rivendare and doubling death rattle so here we go yep there's the eruption and duplicate two more back into my hand. Look at how is this working. It's incredible. And then, yep, two more secrets are going to get added. And then the Sludge Belcher dies, but because of Baron Rivendare, once again, we get double of the Slime Taunts instead of just one. That is fantastic. Okay. Oh, and we got another one. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, the question is, I kind of want to get pa I kind of want them to kill Khan, just because... That would be awesome, but for now, I just want to keep the secrets going. And I'm just going to hit him as well. Brilliant. So I've got Spellbender, Counterspell, and Ice Barrier. That's fine. Hopefully, yep, there goes the Mad Scientist. So we're going to get two more secrets added to my pile of secrets. This is such a neat mage deck. Oh, I'm actually out of secrets. That's hilarious. And there we have our two backup Taunt Slimes. Oh, and of course, a Kirin Mage. Brilliant. So... 
we will play that, play the mage, and then get the free ice block on. That makes the most sense. Sacrifice him to get past that, and then slowly grind him down. I hope he does come up with a way of killing the Cam Blood Hoof, just because I want to see two of them appear, because that would be really sweet. Ooh, there's a soul fire on. Please be on. Oh, yeah, obviously I've got counter spell. Damn! I didn't actually want that at all. Well, he's going to get eruption, so I can ping my own Khan, but that doesn't really help in any way. Um, in fact, no, I'm going to do this over here, okay, and then I am going to, I mean, I've clearly won this game, so I'm going to mess with him for a bit. I'll put him to one health with my various guys, and then ping! And then we get two draws because of the Baron Rivendare. That's so fantastic. And then Spellbender! Oh, I should have put that there. Should not have put that there. Damn, because that's just going to get hit by the eruptions now. I wanted another eruption. Both players draw two cards and gain a mana crystal. I love that card. It's really good. Yay, Dev Charge. Oh, it's just going to kill a slime. That's upsetting. Oh, yay, I can run my card into the Void Caller. That's brilliant. Oh, wait, what did he just use? I didn't actually catch that. It was a... Sorry about that really poorly timed jump cut there, ladies and gentlemen. My hard drive was like, nah, nah, bro, bro, this is where it ends. I am out, you are stopping, this is over. And unfortunately, I didn't catch the end of that game. All I did was run the can into the Void Walker, get two Banes, and be like, oh, I got two Banes. And then I killed him with Baron. So you really didn't miss much. We unlocked Duplicate, and that are the two class challenges for the Plague Quarter. I am very sorry about that random, just very anticlimactic, wasn't it? It's not fair, okay? It's people just like me. But for now, my name has been Rage. I like if you've enjoyed this and subscribe for more. Oh, good boy.